Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to take a look at the, the Earth's core, what's going on with the Earth's core. We're also going down to Australia. We're going to look at the nighttime sky through a night vision camera and what was spotted in the nighttime sky from Australia. We're also going to Colorado Springs and Chicago. You guys are going to see what appears to be a boomerang craft in the sky. And believe it or not, I have a video of an airplane being chased by what appears to be some sort of a, a UFO. But first, this article that was shared with me by, by Graham, dated September 3rd of 2025, goes on to say Earth's core has reversed its rotation. What does that mean for us? And let's get right to the, the meat and potatoes of this article. What effects would this have on Earth, and, and what can we expect as humans? Technically, days can become longer or shorter due to the changes in the rotational speed of the Earth's core. However, they would be very, very small, and we as humans may not even notice them. And here's the two biggest ones that I noticed. Changes to the Earth's magnetic field and the climate are also possible. So that could explain the anomalies that we're seeing in the, the magnetic field. Right now, the magnetic field is looking pretty strong. This is a, a view of the magnetosphere during a, a small geomagnetic storm that's currently underway right now as I do this video. It's kind of winding down, but, but you can see the magnetic shields are, are bouncing back. They're reacting to the, the dense wave of plasma that's interacting with the Earth that sparked a, a G1, G1 magnetic storm right there. It didn't last very long, right around three hours. I want to take you guys now down to Australia. Here we go. Cool video sent in by Cameron of something highly unusual in the nighttime sky. Check this out. This was way up in the sky at a very high altitude. Night vision camera from Australia. Make this make sense. What in the world did he see above Australia? And this was just a few nights ago. Looks like a long cylinder type object, high in the nighttime sky, just cruising through the sky, no blinking lights, wasn't behaving like an airplane or a helicopter. Just yet another example of a mysterious object spotted in the sky above the Earth. I've got more to share with you guys in this video. And coming up right here is a slightly modified view. I just kind of darkened it up a little bit, looking for any possible features. And, and there weren't any to see other than, than what we see right here. It looks like a hot dog moving through the nighttime sky. Very large one. That thing's huge, whatever it was. And the dark spots you see are background stars. And then this that appears to be quite large in the nighttime sky above Australia. What in the world was that? I don't think it was a blimp. Wasn't an airplane or a helicopter. Wasn't making any sound. And more than likely wasn't a drone. That thing was very, very big. Want to take you guys now to Colorado Springs, Colorado. CJ sent in this video of a, of a large, mysterious craft in the nighttime sky. Check this out. Near NORAD Space Command. What in the world? Again, clearly not an airplane or a helicopter. Looks way too big to be a drone. Definitely not a novelty drone. That thing was huge. Here's another one, nearly identical. Check this out. Huge, mysterious craft spotted in the sky from Kansas City, Missouri by Kendra. Right there, look at that thing. Looks almost identical to the one that we just saw. The people were very excited. This was spotted at, at night around 6.19, 6.20 p.m. This is the original video in original format. What I do, I, I modify the original. I zoom in and try to look for any recognizable features. And there wasn't anything else to see other than the, the long row of lights that definitely don't look like an airplane. There were four, maybe five lights in a row. It was difficult to tell because it was moving at a pretty good pace. I mean, that thing was moving fast, much faster than an airplane. Again, the viewers, there were multiple witnesses that saw this. They were very taken back by what they saw. This modified format right here, it turned out pretty good. You can see clearly four lights, and at times you can almost see a, a fifth. Right here, the lights brightened up really good. And there were, again, clearly four, maybe five. Not sure what that was, but that was a, a very large craft spotted in the sky above Kansas City, Missouri by, by Kendra. And there were two other witnesses that saw that thing that looks very similar to the object that we just saw from Colorado Springs, Colorado. And coming up right here, I put it in slow motion and zoomed in because I wanted to get an accurate count on these lights. And here, let me step it forward just a little bit because I zoomed in super tight. 
And there you go. They were all moving together in unison, which is implying that they were part of something larger. There was a craft that they were attached to that we simply couldn't see. And going from Kansas City, Missouri, over to the United Kingdom, Spencer sent in this video, Spencer Watkins, who just happened to catch a, a black boomerang craft in the daytime sky above the United Kingdom. Look at that. Looked like it was pretty decent size. The video was a little bit wobbly as he caught this thing on the fly. He obviously didn't have a tripod with him. Most of us don't carry tripods around. But there it is. And he said it did indeed look like a, a black boomerang craft that he just managed to capture a few seconds of on video. And here's a still image of that object that Spencer saw above the United Kingdom. It looks almost identical to the next photo you're going to see from Chicago. Photo sent in by, by Jeff L. And he too looked up and saw a black, a very large, what looked like a, a triangle boomerang craft in the, in the daytime sky above Chicago. That looks almost identical to what Spencer saw above the United Kingdom. So there's four examples of what appear to be a large, mysterious boomerang craft in the skies above planet Earth. And last but not least, here you're going to see an airplane being chased by some sort of a mysterious high-speed object. Video sent in by Doug out of Missouri, 9-1-2025. You're going to see an airplane right there come up over the, the tree line. This is in original speed, original format. You're going to see something appear right there in the field of view. I know it's moving fast and you're probably not going to see it right there until I slow it down. You may have noticed a white object moving very fast right through the center of the, the video. I'm going to slow it down, zoom in on this object, and we're going to eliminate at least a couple of things that this thing clearly wasn't. It wasn't a bird at close range because when you zoom in like this, you can see a flapping motion if it is a bird. That was definitely not a bird. And right there it accelerated, coming very close to the airplane. Look at how close it comes to that plane. And the pilot more than likely didn't even see it until right there when it went from the back of the plane very quickly to the, the front of the plane and then making a hard right there left-hand turn. What in the world? And watch right in here, you're going to see something appear in front of this object indicating that there may have been two right in here. See it? It's black in this format, but there was a secondary object right there that appeared to be temporarily visible. I don't know if it was traveling with that object the entire time, but right in here, you'll see it. See it right there? There was a secondary object. And again, there's no wings flapping. That was not a bird at close range. This was a highly mysterious object. Doug was describing this as a meteorite moving through the atmosphere. Even though it doesn't have a tail or, or anything like that, he wasn't quite sure what to make of it either as it was moving so incredibly fast, coming super close to that airplane in broad daylight. Unbelievable. And speaking of unbelievable, coming over here to the homepage of the website, this is a highly unusual photo taken by Robert LeBeck out of Kentucky. Stepped outside at 4.30 in the morning, looked up and saw that in the nighttime sky. Are you serious? That is unedited, exactly the way I received the photo by Robert out of Kentucky. Great job, guys. Keep the photos and videos coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website. Look for this red tab that says, have a large video. It's a Dropbox. Drag and drop your videos into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.